this video is going to be about open and closed circuits. Okay, um, hold on, I got the wrong ID up here. That should say, let's see here, OCC. Okay, so open and closed circuits. So, right here you have a picture of two different circuits, right? Uh, which one do you think would be the open circuit? Which one do you think would be the closed circuit? Okay, well, hopefully it's obvious. This one would be open. And this one would be closed. And it's closed because, you know, as you see, this there's a switch right here. This switch, when it's closed, this basically means that electrons are able to flow. But when it's open, like over here, then the electrons are not able to flow. All right? Um, this is kind of like when you turn a light on. When you turn a light on, you're closing the switch. Here's a good example. In this situation, you have two light bulbs, all right? The light bulbs are currently, do you think they're off or on? Hopefully you said they are off. Why? It's because this circuit is now open. Now, if we were to close this switch, like so, that means you turn the light on, then energy would be able to flow, like so. Okay? There is no break in the circuit, so it's able to make a full circuit and keep going around. All right. Now, if I was to open it like so, then that energy, what would happen is that energy still would be flowing, but it would never reach all the way back. It'd stop right here, which would mean that you would not be able to complete the full circle. So these light bulbs over here would not light because there's a break in the system. So that's basically what an open and closed circuit looks like. Okay.